I'm lying. Mm -hmm. uh, Sister Gina is smarty, smart, smart. I am <laughs> not smart. <laughs> Sister Gina was going to start the video way over there. Anyway, hello, people. Welcome back. Uh, welcome to another video of Top Farms. If you've never seen us before, go check us out on Facebook as well at uh, ALA Top Farms. We appreciate you watching this video. And today, we are rotating the compost pile. So, thought it was important to show you guys that. Let's just see what's going on out here. I'm telling y'all this is a little work, but, you know, uh, we had to fill up these other boxes. And we, uh, since we got for the bottom layer, since this is an all the way, it hasn't had enough time to uh, fully break down. It's been in here for about 90 days. And uh, we were using some of the stuff at the bottom to put as a bottom layer on our raised beds. And uh, so we extracted leaves and then for the top layer of the raised beds, you know, I made it to the bottom. So I started digging out uh, uh, the dirt from here instead of getting it around the trees, which made, which saved a lot of time, saved a lot of time to do that because you know, I wasn't battling with roots and stuff like that. But you know, now, you know, I'm rotating the compost pile because the stuff at the bottom has been under pressure for about three months. That stuff is uh, better quality than this stuff that's been sitting at the top, getting rained on, you know, but hasn't been under uh, pressure at all. But, uh, you know, if you're out there, I'm pretty sure you know the saying, uh, pressure makes diamonds, and that's in, in every case. In this case, the diamond is uh, the compost. Of course, we got some organic matter up there for more. Our cucumbers had grew. We're all ready to pull those up. Those are done. And uh, throw them down there in the bottom as well. Let those start with the composting process. And hey, you know, as this stuff goes on, it's going to make better and better material. So, you know. Just wanted to show you guys and uh, what's been going on lately. And we got some rain the other day. Right as the sun, right as the sun set. And uh, it did good, but there was some time. Because, of course, if you watch these videos, there's a few people who follow. And uh, if you went and seen the whole journey of us learning how to farm, because if you don't know us, if you haven't seen anything else, we, we're first year. We're first year farmers. We've been learning lessons along the way and keeping a, a video recording so the world can see it, too, as we go along this farming journey. And, uh, of course, we've learned... A lot with this. I mean, we've grown, grown a lot. We've got to see some of our mistakes. We got to learn uh, farming from other people who went and took classes, and you know, and, and we're on our way. We're actually in it, in the middle of it, doing it, practicing it, and uh, and we're showing the world too. So uh, if somebody out there, you know, is a beginner, you can see. You can do the same. You can do the same thing if you want to. Maybe you don't want to do it on a, on a uh, maybe you don't want to operate a large urban farm, but maybe you just want to, you know, grow your little something, you know, or create your little compost. Now, since I'm showing that we're rotating the compost pile, I'm also going to tell you what this compost is essentially good for, you know. Uh, soil is expensive, even the inexpensive soil, as you go along, it becomes expensive now this is what's called all this stuff in here which is mainly leaves little little dirt uh, what else is in here? Uh, i think some lime is in here a little lime is in here and fertilizer uh, some some fertilizer is in here uh, and some of the fish is in there oh yeah fish manure is in here look cow manure is in here you know epsom salt epsom salt is in here you know few few things few things to make this good organic matter you know it's not doesn't have like straight does have a, a little bit of cow manure i think a little mm -hmm. bit it has a little bit of cow manure in here not much but you see it's got some sandy soil in here too see that right there it's got a few things in here and basically uh let's see if i can wait hold on huh? 
come down here. I want to go back. Maybe move some of this in. It's probably too deep to grab some of this. Here you go. It's right there. So, this is uh, essentially what you get. And this isn't all the way broken down, but it's pretty it's pretty decent stuff. But it's not all the way, all the way broken down. But look, look what it turned into over here. And what you do with what you do with this stuff, you know, you can tell the difference between this and uh, that that right there. And what you do with this stuff right here is you take this stuff by the wheel. You take this stuff by the wheelbarrow, and like after every growing season, like right now, we got melons. But when we pull all the melons up, we get ready to dump the melons into here. We take the the good stuff that's at the bottom right here, that's broken down. And uh, we put it in the in the soil over there, and then we till it all up together, and it adds organic material to your uh, to, to to where you're gardening at. So uh, to the area where you're gonna be growing your new new crop, it has organic material. It's it's the best part about it is uh, it's free to make. So you see, you probably can't see there's little specks in there from uh, other other organic matter in there and, uh, but yeah you can't you can't beat it which I told my wife about it collapsing there's a case of it collapsing down I wanted to go ahead and collapse down in there because uh, I think it got pretty pretty doggone deep from uh, filling up a few filling up a few raised beds what it is is you know you look at the space of the raised bed it doesn't seem like Oh, it's a whole lot of space, but it really is. And it takes a lot of soil to uh, fill that up. It takes a lot. It takes about a ton, a ton or more to fill each box up. And uh, if you don't know what a ton is, a ton is 2,000 pounds. So, you know, it's a lot of soil. No. Well, some good, good news. Uh, we got approved for EBT. Yeah, yeah. So when we come, when we do go to market in August, which we're still waiting uh, to get everything right with the. Uh, while we wait uh, for. August first, buddy. Mm -hmm. To get our machine, uh, we got approved for our EBT. So when we do go to market, uh, we'll be able to take EBT, and I hope that helps us launch our business a little faster. That we have a variety of different ways people can uh, grab produce from us. So, and look at this stuff here. This stuff here looks good. Down there. Once you get past that top layer, some of that stuff starts looking good. Oh, down in the hole I go. Take a trip into the hole. Take a trip into the hole? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. How are you going to get out the hole? I'm going to step out the hole. That's how I'm going to get out the hole. Just like this. <laughs> Like that. Okay. Man, I did a good job with uh, preparing this thing to rotate. I did a little bit too good of a job. <laughs> oh, baby. Mm -hmm. I did a little bit too good of a job over here. But, you know, sometimes I say to myself, uh, I don't feel like I'm putting in enough work. But then it's like right now, while I'm uh, rotating this stuff, I'm saying, geez, man. I went, I went overboard. I turned this thing very deep. Mm -hmm. uh, man, it's, uh, this thing is up to my chest. This hole might be deeper than my, my wife now. I went, a little, <laughs> I went a little bit overboard. <laughs> yeah, I think if I went in there, I don't think you'll be able to see me. Yeah. Even though I've been filling the bottom back up, this, this joker is pretty deep now. It was too deep. But it's good. It means I'll be able to add extra material down in here later on as we uh, 
make our uh, the what we do on our farm a little bit bigger. I have more room to add different types of material in here. That's all. A huge compost pile. I'll tell you that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You see, most of the ones you see are the size of a size of a raised bed. This one is actually a hole in the earth. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I keep sinking down into and keep finding stuff like that. Yeah. If I go, I want to go over there. I might fall in. Yeah, I don't think it's... It's not bad. I mean, you'll just sink. I don't want to sink. But you're not going to, like, <laughs> sink too far out of here. You get no bugs on me. Yeah. Why are you so worried about bugs? Why? Okay. Tell me why you have such a phobia about bugs. Like I told you, at first, I was fine with them. You know, I told you. They can be over there in the distance and I can you know see him from a distance and admire him from a distance mm -hmm. but as soon as they come to my you know my my personal area which uh -huh. is around me I don't want them there like I'm afraid of them Why, where, where does your fear come from where does my fear come from uh -huh. from getting hurt like getting stung that's the fear Oh yeah, there. There's some topsoil in here too, a little bit. Mm -hmm. We took some old buckets that we had from our other house where we were uh, experimenting on uh, growing crops. We didn't have much space, but we didn't start a a vlog then because we were just experimenting. You know, we didn't have grow space or nothing like that. But we wanted to get try our hand at a green thumb. What had happened was. We put too much. Oh, look at that! I'm down in there deep. Look how look, look how deep I sunk. It went all the way to your knee. I know, I know. And then the bottom is full of uh bugs. No, not full of bugs. It's, it's full of uh material. So like that lets you know how deep this thing is. Like the bottom is full of material, and it, I still went knee deep. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, while we were over there. And we were trying our hand, our hand at our green thumb to see what we could do. Uh, what happened was we put too many ingredients in the soil, and uh, it was the soil was unusable. And I'm not a wasteful person, so I just said to my wife, like, let's not throw this away. We'll be able to use it for something one day. And uh, when I first started this compost pile, I started it because when we purchased the the uh, property, this was a fire pit. And uh, we had uh, a sloppy soup mess. There's a little creek that runs right outside the boundary of our property. And on, side, on our side of the property, it was just a soupy mess. So I took dirt out of the fire pit, uh, gathered all these. As I was cleaning on the property, I gathered all of these uh, bricks and stuff off the property, formed a ring around the fire, fire pit. Then I got it so deep from filling it up, from filling there up, I said, okay. I need to sweep leaves up off of the property and uh, put them right in here. So it became pretty, it was a pretty decent uh, feel. But uh, yeah, there's a video um, of all that actually. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah, there there's, there's a video of when you first started to do this when we walked down there. Yeah, and this um, thing was uh, level to the earth mm -hmm. at that point. Now it's uh, pretty much chest deep, it's uh, about to my chest. And, and uh, deepness. Well, close to my chest. I don't know if it's all the way to my chest. It's close. And, uh, we're at 14 minutes. 14 minutes. Well, guys, you know, we're going on and on and on and on and on. I pledge to stop making these extremely long videos because, you know, making those extremely long videos, is, nobody's going to watch a 30 minute video. I don't even really watch 30 minute videos on real, YouTube. Nobody watches that. So, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the content of this video and uh, you enjoy seeing uh, urban farming at its best and uh, you would like to see more videos of urban farming, uh, go check out some of our other stuff. Don't be afraid to subscribe, turn the notifications on so you'll know when we make more videos. My wife makes uh, too many videos showing what she does inside of the house. I think it's cool. She's got a lot more energetic in it, into it. Uh, we still need to make a video about learning how to work that cash register. We work that cash register, and uh, we have not taken the time 
to learn how to use it. But we will make a video <laughs> on us learning how to use our cash register. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you subscribe. Hope you enjoy the content. Uh, I would like to see more minorities out here farming and starting small farms and having a good time with agriculture and period. You know, hopefully this is inspiration to somebody else for them to uh, start their own own uh, garden or something or, or something. Grow you some food. Just try it out. And uh, we'll see you later. T.O.P. We're going to be holding it down over here. Oh, oh. <laughs>